Hi, my name is Lorna Clifford, student number 006 1001707. This is assignment 2, How Might Education Mediate Dominance and Difference, EDC 1200 Self-Education in Society. This assignment has two parts. The first part is to describe an issue I have chosen and the second part is to discuss how this issue may be used in the classroom as an educative experience. Illegal immigration, asylum seekers, boat people, queue jumpers. These are all the terms that for many Australians have a negative connotation. They evoke fear. We consider ourselves to be living in the lucky country. Our lives are uncomplicated by world standards. We have no wars, famine, injustice, oppression or dictatorships. Put simply, we have freedom. Although it's one of the most important things we have, it's also the thing we most take for granted. What would it be like to live without these simple freedoms? Or to live in constant fear? Millions of people worldwide every day live like that. Burma, Somalia, Afghanistan, Sudan, Sri Lanka and Iraq are just some of the countries whose people not only live in desperate situations but will take extraordinary lengths to escape them. These countries have different cultural beliefs to ours. They have different living conditions and face different problems. Yet they share the same basic needs we have for food, shelter and safety for themselves and their family. It's important for us as a nation to accept and embrace these differences, to show we're aware that difference is superficial and nothing to fear. Australia has much to gain by welcoming these cultures. It is after all, through acceptance of difference, we learn tolerance. In popular media today, we hear terms used like boat people, illegal immigrants, asylum seeker, queue jumpers. What do these terms really mean? Refugee. As defined by the Refugee Council of Australia, it's any person who, owing to a well-founded fear of being persecuted for reasons of race, religion, nationality, membership of a particular social group or political opinion, is outside the country of their nationality and is unable, or owing to such fear, unwilling to avail themselves of the protection of that country. Illegal immigrant. This term has been widely used in the media to describe asylum seekers, in particular boat people. These people arrive in Australia seeking protection without valid visas or documents. They are not illegal. They are asylum seekers, a legal status under both Australian and international laws. Boat people. This refers also to asylum seekers. These people have arrived in a new country by boat seeking any, any protection they can get. It is a derogatory term used to imply that these people who arrive in Australia by boat are a threat to our country. Queue jumpers. These are seen as those who arrive in Australia without documentation to seek asylum. It's implied that they jump a queue, therefore have taken advantage of those who have completed applications for refugee status. It's also a perception that these people try and prey on the goodwill of Australia. This simply isn't the case. These people often come from countries where there is no orderly process to seek asylum, no Australian embassies. In fact, in some of these countries, leaving without permission of the government carries a threat of death. So this forces asylum seekers from these countries to come to Australia by different means, such as by boat. How should we as a country view people seeking asylum? What can we learn about these people and about ourselves as a nation? Does the way we treat refugees say anything about Australia? This topic is well suited to upper primary learning as it meets needs of their cohort to understand their place in this world. It also acknowledges the principles of higher order thinking and deeper understanding of topics, a learning model that is well suited to this age group. Ideally, this subject would be introduced to coincide with Refugee Week, which will be held from June 20 to 26 in 2010. A good starting point for this topic would be to get each student to write five to eight words to describe the key words. Asylum seeker, refugee, boat person and illegal immigrant. For homework, students could then locate the accurate definitions. These 
may then introduce the idea of difference between the student's perception and reality. Mahatab story. This book has been written by Libby Gleason and it's an ideal text for the class to read in a shared reading experience. It's based on a true story and is written through the eyes of a young girl. Students will have more of a connection to this story and the aim of this task is for the class to gain insight into the fear that drives families to flee their homeland and the traumas associated with their journeys to freedom. As Burma, Somalia, Afghanistan, Sudan, Sri Lanka and Iraq are where the majority of Australian asylum seekers originate, these are the countries of focus. Creating six works, work groups, I would allocate each one country. As a group, they would be required to discover what it's like to live in that country, why people flee, and by what means they escape. Using a globe, they would need to show a route of escape and create a journal of their voyage, estimating the time it takes and the experiences that they have along the way. Having a speaker visit the class, someone that has lived the experience and can share their personal story is an ideal way to have an open discussion with students. It may also help answer any questions the students may have. To complete the unit, the students should undertake a reflective writing task. This should include details of their feelings and understandings at the beginning of the unit, what they have learned throughout, and if they have gained a different understanding and perspective, or if they still feel the same. This topic is well suited to being a transformative te teaching method. It's very current and it's a global concern, one that will never be resolved if the world doesn't stop and find a true solution. We as educators have a responsibility to open the eyes of our students to ideas, topics and world events in order to create the thinking, responsible adults of tomorrow. Following are the sites that I have used to research material in this assignment.